Hey guys, Kyle here again from Kyle from Martial Arts. Hope you all are doing well. Today we're going to start a video series that's going to be three parts of our animal walking techniques that happen in our Kung Fu program. Previously, we've done videos on our Kung Fu forms, our Kung Fu weapons forms, some of the walking kicks and jumping kicks of our Kung Fu program, and as well as many kind of animal videos that feature a couple of animal walking kicks and a part of a form and things like that. This is going to be specifically a video series on all of the animal walking techniques we practice in class. As I said, it's going to be divided into three parts. This is the first part today. I'm going to cover the first of each and every basic animal walking technique, the five animals we practice. I'm going to show everyone our tiger walking, crane walking, leopard uppercut walking, short snake walking, and our dragon search walking techniques. I hope you enjoy it. As I go through them, I'm going to try to explain them a little bit, utilizing the hand postures and such as they go through. But pretty much every one of these follows a three part method, utilizing our step into our stance, our block with our technique, and our counter with our attack. This is tiger walking, block, strike. Utilizing my tiger claw, the block, and counter. Step, block, counter. Step, block, counter. Step, block, counter. Both done forwards and backwards. Crane switches to our crane stance, our leg foot stance, as well as our crane beat posture. Step, hook, pack. Still follows that step, block, counter approach. Leopard goes back to our forward stance, utilizes now our leopard paw, not quite all the way open, but also not quite open with our fingers bent, and not a full fist, kind of in between. What you want if you see it this way is my thumb is naturally up, fitting into the bend of my fingers. This part, these pads of my fingers here, actually flat in line with my fist, I have a ridge of knuckles that I can use for this fist for my leopard technique. Leopard uppercut has a block with the rear arm leading straight under the chin with the front arm. As you step, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. Good. Snake utilizes that small stance again with the flat hands circling to block and counter. This is the first one where you're blocking and countering the same arm. Step, block, counter. Block, counter. Block, counter. Block, counter. Block, counter. Lastly for today is our Dragon Search. Dragon Search uses that same stance. This one, however, is purely defensive. You're using both hands for your defensive technique. My left side, my left side is farther. My right side, my right side is farther. I have my other hand always protecting my center. I hope you enjoyed the brief demonstration and explanation of our five basic animal walking techniques. Look forward to part two soon, where we show the more advanced versions of each. See you guys next time. Bye.